Hello, this is Matthew Heiko with BMC Atrium Orchestrator. Today I'd like to talk about determining grid status and load via health metrics. Health metrics are how peers share information about peer status, adapter status, and general system health, and we can use them to see how a peer or the grid in general is doing. The grid uses health metrics to share information across peers, things like the number of threads each peer has, the number of timeouts it has while talking with other peers, and so on. Each peer writes this information to a log file at regular intervals. You don't need to set up anything special to enable this. It's automatic in all current versions of BAO. To view the health metrics, you just need to open the grid.log file, which is in your BAO home directory, then the folder Tomcat, then logs. Search for info, two spaces, and then the word health. This line occurs at the beginning of every instance of the health logging. Then scroll through those lines until you see lines that begin with G or P, as in the screenshot here. The grid.log exists on every kind of peer, and each peer will have roughly the same information, uh, differing only in when they logged it, usually. So you can open it up on your CDP, your HACDP, it doesn't matter. To read a health metric entry, you just have to parse it into its individual points. First, health stat, which occurs at the beginning of every message that's part of the health logs. Then the date we logged it. Who is logging it? Here, a peer named BMC Dev Server. What we're logging, here, the number of failed processes we've had, which is three. And the last date is the last time it changed. So this says that the last time this peer failed a process was a little afternoon on the 19th of July. There are a lot of health metrics in a peer, but we're really only interested in three sets of them. First are the peer memory metrics. These are peer specific and they tell us roughly how well a peer is using its resources. Uh, memory use and free memory relate to its heap space. The lower the memory use, usually the better. CPU utilization is the amount of CPU the server is using. And the number of threads, that's the number of threads we have inside the BAO peer. The number of threads is usually fairly high, uh, about 300. You don't need to get worried until you see around 900 or 1,000 threads, but this will tell you what a peer is doing and how. The second set of metrics we're interested in are the current peer load, which is also the current grid load. These relate to what the peer or grid is doing right now. The first three relate to the number of workflows we have. Uh, running process is the number running. Queued is the number waiting to run. If you don't see this value, that's fine. It's zero and the number of activity processor threads, or the number of threads we have just dedicated to workflows. The last one is more general because it includes grid manager, web services, messages from other peers, anything that would be incoming to the peer. The default on this is 32. At that point, the peer starts queuing or rejecting messages. So as long as this value is below 32, the grid is at least running. The last set of metrics are historical metrics. These only reset when you clear the grid or peer on a restart. So you can use them historically and compare them to past values to get trends over time. So if you look at count of started processes now, then look at it in the health metrics an hour ago, you'll see how many processes have started since then. So you can get a picture of what the general load is, see if it's higher in these five minutes than normal, or in the last hour, or in the last day or week, depending on how, how far back your grid logs go. These are the sets of metrics we're interested in for peer load. There are further metrics. You can find more information about them in the BMC knowledge base uh, in the first article here. And if you want to pipe your health logging into a separate log file so that it's a little easier to read, you can follow the instructions in the second step. To look up any KA, just go to the BMC Support Central website and type in the KA ID for further reading. Thank you. Have a nice day.